A developing story tonight, the Tulsa County District Attorney charged three people with murder in connection to the death of a missing man. As Fox 23 reported Friday, detectives discovered remains in an abandoned home in Muskogee while searching for the body of Courtney Palmer. The medical examiner is working to identify those remains. Fox 23's Naomi Kitt talked to investigators about how they tracked down their suspects. It was a lot of people doing a lot of right things. Homicide Sergeant Dave Walker says anonymous tips and lots of interviews helped them put all of the pieces together in the disappearance of a 23-year-old Tulsa man. We worked very hard to, to solve the case. These three people, Gerald Lowe, Michaela Riddle, and Jeanette Thomas, are charged with kidnapping and killing Courtney Palmer on November 10th. Homicide detectives tell me this all started in this area after a fight and shooting at this apartment complex across the street. That shooting happened on November 8th. Two days later, Homicide Sergeant Dave Walker says Palmer was lured to a home near East 46th Street North and MLK. And that's where the beating begins and, and goes on for quite some time in, inside the residence and, and that's how uh, Courtney ends up dead. He says the people inside tried to clean up the blood, and after getting a search warrant, they found forensic evidence putting Palmer's body inside that home. It took us a while to get there, but, but you know, eventually we got there. Detectives say Charletha Mack was also in the home. She's charged with accessory to murder. Sergeant Walker says tips led them to a home in Muskogee County where they discovered human remains. They are still waiting on a formal identification of the body, but they do think it's Palmer. Our belief is that it's going to be Courtney Palmer that's, that was uh, desecrated and, and left out there. Detectives say they arrested the three suspects at the Brigton Apartments. The district attorney upgraded their charges when detectives found those remains. All three suspects will be in court in January. That's when their preliminary hearings are scheduled. Reporting in downtown Tulsa, covering news that matters, I'm Naomi Kitt, Fox 23 News.